It looks like an MP7, but a little bit a pistol. What do you think? I think it's like a Glock 18, but with a stock. Hey everybody, today we're looking at the ASG BNT USW A1 gas blowback aerosol pistol. This is a licensed replica of the real USW A1 from Swiss defense supplier Bruger and Thomet. It's designed to combine the size of a duty pistol with the extended range and accuracy of a 9mm police carbine. It's an unusual little compact set that you can do some pretty crazy stuff with. And this airsoft version is provided to us for review by Fox Airsoft where it goes for $199. And you guys know the deal, we're going to go over every inch of it, but first, let's see what's in the box. Oh, what's in the box? And so it says one-to-one -one scale, so I'm not sure if that means it's going to be a one-to-one -one replica of something real. And this is an ASG manual, so I hope they're going to have my, my, favorite, my favorite graphics in the world. And they still do. Don't shoot yourself in the face. Don't shoot a granny going by in a, a basket bicycle. And don't turn your gun sideways because the hop-up will cause the BB to curve. But you guys that follow the channel know that I think this is absolutely wrong. If you can turn your gun sideways and curve your BB around an obstacle, you're an airsoft legend. Looks like we are CO2 powered and we do have an adjustable hop-up. Looks like a flathead style adjustable hop-up. And this is interesting, the gun comes with a folding stock. Got a little box of BBs. You got your tool to insert your CO2 cartridge into the magazine, and you've got the gun. And it is quite heavy. I believe it's going to be full metal, and for 200 bucks, I would expect it to be full metal. And it is quite large. It is a uh, full-size service pistol, and it looks like we got a little bit too much lube all over the place there. That's what she said. Not sure what this is. This is safety. Yep, looks like we've got a side safety, no red dot. But as a working thumb safety. Slide locks back on the last shot. Easily reachable slide release with your thumb. Got your little BNT trades right there. It's like nine by 19 millimeter, I guess maybe. Again, we'll have to look this up and maybe this is a uh, replica of a real gun. Four slot underside tactical Picatinny rail. Top's actually got a little piece of pick rail up here up top as well. If you want to put an optic on top of this sucker, which I guess you could since it's got a folding stock. I guess that's a release. Stock folds back. Interesting. That's a, that's a tight fit. That's a tight fit. That's what she said. <laughs> It'd be hard to, uh, to shoulder the sucker and get any type of leverage, but uh, I guess on a CQB setting, it might be kind of neat. A button right here, that will let you fold the stock back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to putting this guy through the paces. All right, guys, as we said, this is a real one-to-one -one replica and it's considered a PDW. It's a semi-auto gas blowback with a metal frame, a metal slide, and it only weighs two pounds and two ounces. With the combination of the 14 millimeter threaded outer barrel, the small Picatinny optics mount, and the tactical Picatinny rail underneath for tack lights and lasers and such, this thing is very customizable with accessories. You've got grip serrations at the front of the slide, BNT trays on the left, side thumb safety, and the USW A1 takes CZ75 SP01 Shadow and Shadow 2 magazine, so you can power it with CO2 or green gas depending on your mag. Now it comes with a 26 round double stacking CO2 magazine. You can pick up extras for 30 bucks or you can pick up a green gas version for 30 bucks as well. The CO2 cartridge slides into the magazine through a removable end piece which I'm not a particular fan of, as you guys may know if you watch our videos, because you gotta be especially careful not to lose that little round piece if you're making CO2 changes out on the field. It also has a small little locking folding stock with a spring-assisted opener. Then there's a button right under the back to release it and close it again. Inside, you've got a flathead style adjustable hop-up with a bucking and barrel that are Tokyo Murray compatible. Now this sucker advertises 300 to 350 feet per second with 0.2 round BBs, so let's go see how it performs right now. Is it registering? Yeah. Is it shooting? 291? It's not very hard. Thank you. 
What are you doing, machine? What the f are you doing? <laughs> it's still recording. Alright, so this little PDW style concoction is a little bizarre, but it performs pretty darn good. It performs like an above average airsoft pistol. So do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell us what you think about it in the comments below. And if you like what we're doing here, and you haven't already, join us on our airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video when they come out. And until then, we'll see you next time. The BB almost hit me.